بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد This will be our final khatira for this Ramadan and as eagerly as we were anticipating the beginning of the month before you know it in the twinkling of an eye we are now on the verge of bidding it farewell and subhanallah this is a metaphor of our lives it's a metaphor of the time how quickly it passes and in today's brief khatira i just wanted to share with myself and with all of you some basic reminders that we should take away from this month firstly brothers and sisters one of the main purposes of the month of Ramadan is to reacquaint us with the beauty of worshipping Allah. To reacquaint us with the beauty and the sweetness of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Each and every one of us sitting here today, physically, as the month is winding down, we are tired. We have sacrificed our sleep. We have sacrificed our energies. We have reoriented our schedules. We go to work very tired, very hungry, very thirsty. We come back from work. We barely have time to break our fast. We rush to the masjid. And these 30 days zoom by. And every day we're struggling with our body. And yet our souls are on an all-time high. When you ask yourselves now, how do I feel spiritually? What is the level of my Iman? Every one of you will respond that I've never felt so good in this whole year as I'm feeling right now. The amount of Iman, spirituality, yaqeen, ikhlas, the closeness you feel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the joy of being alive and Muslim, the whole year you have not felt what you are feeling on this night and on the nights of Ramadan. And this is one of the main goals of the month of Ramadan. To make us realize that nothing is sweeter than the taste of Iman. Nothing is greater than the pleasure of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no sweetness that is sweeter than the sweetness of Iman. And in this month we all taste that sweetness. We physically give up our food in order to taste that sweetness of Iman. Yet another blessing of this month is community. Every single day, every night, this masjid has been jam-packed to capacity. Tonight, a thousand people. Tomorrow, we're expecting maybe 1,500 people. It shows us the ummah is alive and healthy despite all the negatives going on. And there's a lot of negatives. Alhamdulillah, the pulse of the ummah is strong. Alhamdulillah, in a land far, far away from where Islam began, in a land that has so much temptations, so much hedonism, still every night the masjid is packed with the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ummah is alive and healthy and this proves it right here and now. Of the blessings of this month of Ramadan is to make us appreciate the Qur'an. Every night we've been hearing the beautiful kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the speech of Allah recited, resonating in our hearts, circling throughout the air. We can smell and breathe the Qur'an. It moves us, it shakes us as the speech of Allah and only the speech of Allah can do. So we are reacquainted with the beauty of the Qur'an. Of the goals of this month of Ramadan is that we come to the masajid and the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every masjid in every single city in the globe is packed on these very nights. And there are many other wisdoms which we don't have time in this khatira tomorrow's khutbah. I'll mention some more of them inshaAllah ta'ala. But the point now that the month is winding down, tomorrow might be our last taraweeh in all likelihood, is to think. Firstly, what have I gotten from this particular month? When Eid comes and the day after Eid, what will be my state? Now that I've experienced the joy of Iman, the joy of community, the joy of the masjid, the joy of the Quran, the joy of giving sadaqah and charity, now that I've tasted it, will I continue to taste those same blessings after the month? Will this house of Allah become empty? Now that it was chock full for the whole month? Will the Quran be put back on your shelf to gather dust until the next Ramadan? 
Will your charity cease and dry up? That is not the goal of Ramadan. When we have tasted how beautiful it is to worship Allah, yes, we all understand we cannot retain the same amount of iman after Ramadan. I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it again. The goal of Ramadan, we rise up a hundred levels. When Ramadan finishes, we don't go flopping back down to back to negative hundred. Go back down 30, 40, 50, even go back 80. But when Ramadan finishes, the day after Ramadan, you have to have a better schedule than the day before Ramadan. Agreed, we're not going to be spending as much time in Ramadan in the masjid as we did now. Agreed, our iman is not going to be the same. We all understand that. But definitely do not let your iman go all the way back down to where it was at the beginning of the month. Make sure you add one or two rituals that you never did, you add them from the day after Ramadan. Make sure that one or two sins that you used to do, you eliminate them. The goal is every Ramadan you come a few steps higher to Allah. So that each Ramadan is like a, an intensive boot camp. It's a training camp. It's a cycle. You go through it and then you come out detoxified, purified to face the year with better and higher iman. And also, brothers and sisters, inevitably, undoubtedly, next Ramadan, this crowd will not be the same. Let us... Think about that. Who can guarantee that we will be sitting here next Ramadan? And even if I am here and you are here, it is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that from this year to the next, family, friends, acquaintances, colleagues will not make it to the next year. It is the sunnah of Allah, even if I am here, who amongst my family will make it? Who amongst my friends? And the same goes for you. Until finally a Ramadan will come, and we will not know it, but it will be our last Ramadan. So if we take away anything from this month, what I want myself and all of you to take away is the importance, the necessity of making sure we have a strong relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The need to understand that there is nothing more important than to have that faith and spirituality, to have that connection with Allah. Nothing is more important than that connection. And alhamdulillah, in this month of Ramadan, we all feel that connection. We taste the connection. We sense the connection and we savor it. We love it. That's the beauty of the month. No matter how physically tired we are, spiritually we are soaring in the clouds. We love it. So alhamdulillah, Allah is blessing us. That iman is something beautiful for you. You know if Allah had wanted to, iman would have been sour. Iman would have been difficult. If Allah had wanted to, there would be no joy to iman. It would just be a chore. But that's not the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. That's not the sunnah of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, The righteous will forever be enjoying Allah's blessings. Forever, from the beginning to the end. The righteous person, the mu'min, the abrar, will always taste the sweetness of life. And they're going to taste the sweetness of death. And they're going to taste the sweetness of life after death. It is the mu'min who is always in content, in happiness, in joy. And this month of Ramadan makes us realize how important that connection is. As we wind down this month, brothers and sisters, I want every one of us, and I begin with myself, to think long and hard. What are those things that are missing in my life that I need to concentrate on? The salah, the Quran, dhikr, charity, dua, being good to people, forgiving. You know where is your emptiness. So make sure that when Ramadan finishes, you concentrate on two or three things in particular. Also concentrate, what are those sins that I know I have? Malicious heart, sharp tongue, sarcasm, making fun of people, doing things I shouldn't do, spending money where I shouldn't spend. You all know, I know my weaknesses, you know your weaknesses. Think about that. We have alhamdulillah in this month withheld from those sins. All of us have raised the bar. We have made sure that we are showing a level of taqwa that we don't show before the month. Now that the month is over, retain 
Not 100%, that's impossible. 80%, 90%, 10%, retain some of that extra that will keep you going so that when next Ramadan comes, you will have been better than when the previous Ramadan. And then the next Ramadan, and then the next Ramadan. And the goal, brothers and sisters, is every Ramadan we rise higher and higher and higher so that whenever our last Ramadan will be, and we shall all have a last Ramadan, whenever our last Ramadan will be, it will be our best Ramadan, because we want to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the highest state imaginable. The beauty of our religion, Allah azza wa jal will judge us, not on how we began, but how we ended. Allah will not judge us on the beginning of the book. Allah will judge us at the end of the book. The only question is, we don't know when the end will happen. So every day we write a better page. Every month, we write a better chapter. Every single year, we raise the bar higher and higher and higher. And Ramadan is the big iman boost that Allah gives us. Ramadan is that iman boost that we need to make sure we give that 100% battery recharge. 100% everything is here. Now that Ramadan is over, take as much as you can because only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who amongst us will be here next Ramadan and who amongst us will not be here? Only Allah knows how many more Ramadans we have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala write our names amongst those who have been freed from the fire of hell. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with many more Ramadans full of iman and taqwa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who are in the illiyin in paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Make us amongst those whose books are given in the right hand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our scales heavy on judgment day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause the Ramadan and the fasting and the Quran to be intercessors for us on judgment day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cause the Quran to be an evidence for us and not an evidence against us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make every Ramadan better than the previous one until the very best Ramadan that we have and the very best days that we live. We ask Allah that they are the best best days of our lives, the most righteous days of our lives, may they be the last days of our lives, and may the last word that we ever utter before we leave this earth be the shahada, the testimony of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh